welcome back to the channel, YouTube. Today, I'm going to change the fleet air filters in the truck. I forgot to get them out of the truck. Put a little carpet to lay them on, so they don't get nasty. And then the air filters. Air filters. <laughs> um, let me show you what. Both of my air filters are in these canisters right here. So inside here, they run back here into the intake and all that good stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's the, you just undo four bolts, no big deal. Um, obviously other trucks are different. But I got one on each side and put my keys back on my bell loop here. So I got one over here as well. And yeah, same thing, four bolts. You just move this. Uh, I have to undo the mirror bracket mount that mounts right there, just so I have enough room to pull this up and pull the filter out. But these are the filters. The truck is a mess. Um, so they just Velcro on. This is the brand you need for a, or the model number or whatever. If you have a classic and you want some of these, then you need two of them. No, it's right, or, uh, Wow, October of uh, 2013, that's when I've had these. They're pretty dirty, they've been in there for a while. And obviously I got two of them here. But yeah, as you can see, they just Velcro. There's three layers of Velcro. So each one is uh, it's a little bit bigger than the other. An inch or two, whatever it is. Uh, I lay them all out on the carpet. That way I make sure I get the set for each one. I'm gonna go ahead and take this one off. Let me get this uh, camera put on the head cam here and uh, we'll take care of this. All right. I, I ran out of gloves. All I got is the, the one rubber glove here, but I'm gonna take all these off. And these are obviously the dirty ones. So I will put these back in a bag whenever I'm done with them. They just come off like that. As you can see, they're pretty filthy. I'll take these home and I'll wash them and uh Yeah, they're pretty nasty. But I'll wash these all in some Dawn dish soap at the house. Like I'll put them in the like next to our washer in our like our wet room in our garage. We have a huge huge sink tub kind of thing, you want whatever you want to call it. Um and I'll soak them like overnight and some dawn kind of mix them up stir them up periodically and uh yeah i don't know if y'all can see that like how this is where it's clean this is obviously where it's dirty but usually the first one is the one that catches everything and it's pretty funky bugs and whew, nasty stuff But I will just want to lay these down out of the way for now. And this is just the, the housing for it. Nothing too crazy. A little grimy there. Um, I might take some brake cleaner, but I think I'm going to need like a pressure washer to actually clean all that off. So I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to clean my other or put my new filters on and put them back in the truck. Nothing crazy, but good gosh. It's pretty bad. Definitely caked up with some junk. But nevertheless, the filters go on the outside of this thing, so nothing from in here will get into the engine. 
Uh, I definitely need to take these home and put the pressure washer on them and clean them up. It might even be time to get some new filters. These are pretty rough, but they're in good shape. Just these are starting to get, get a little beat up here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna lay out the other filters and no, I'm gonna put them on that carpet I had. I'm gonna take my gloves off so I don't get my, my new filters all nasty. But I'll lay them out on here and spray the top of the first coat with oil. So they, you know, the, let me show you that real quick. Show you what I'm talking about. Whoever did that is freaking an asshole. I cannot stand truck drivers. But uh, this is the foam air filter oil I'm supposed to use here. I've used the K&N air filter spray too, like the red spray. I kind of like that stuff better just because it sprays a little more even. This stuff comes out in like a, let me show you. It comes out in like a, a stream and I don't like that because then I got to like rub it in. It's just a, a pain in the ass, but that's what I'm going to save this other glove for. So I'm going to get those laid out and I'll show you what I'm talking about after I get it all done. And uh, yeah, go from there. So this is what I'm talking about. Each one's a little shorter than the other one. So you can wrap it around and this one obviously goes around this one and then this one around both of them. Uh, I got a little, little cut in that one. I'm gonna have to order some new ones. Obviously I've had these for a while, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna get the spray and get my glove back on and spray this first one. Cause that'll be what you see here will be on the inside of the filter or on the inside of the dome. So the air is going to come through there first and then filter through the rest of the, uh, the filter. So yeah, sorry. I know I'm sniffly and all that. My uh, sinuses are kicking my butt. But yeah, let's get some oil on this thing. So we'll put the first one, we'll wrap the first one around. It's really cold here, but it's not too bad with the sun beating in. Obviously everything's starting to melt. It needs to get a little warmer. I know it's gonna get cold again tonight, but oh, I'm not looking forward to that at all. See, I don't like how that comes out like that at all. Just kind of put a nice, I know if you put too much, it can be an issue. Uh, so I'm trying to put enough on there and then I will spread it around with my hand here. Jeez. I don't like this kind of sprayer. I'd much rather have a like, mist nozzle. Huh. I was told if they, like they're tacky, that's okay. But if they stick and they string real bad, then uh, that could be an issue. But I'll just keep kind of rubbing it into the filter here. might be a bit too much but it's too late now all right let's say that's pretty good We'll put this on the first one. Really wish I had another glove, but oh well. 
At least I got a sink I can wash my hands. Plus I'm at the truck stop. So I can do that there too. I've had to change these out before in, uh, I think I was in Texas. Might have been New Mexico, but it was just super windy. Might have even been Oklahoma. It was just really windy and the, uh, the truck couldn't breathe. It was just, they were full of sand and dirt and everything. The, yeah, so this basically just goes on the other one. I like keeping a spare set, like I said, just to they change them out in an emergency if I need to. But I'm gonna get this put on, and uh, so I get done with these, get them ready, get ready, put them back in. I will catch up with you guys. All right, guys, we got these put on here. I put all the Velcro strips in the same spot, just kind of reduces the, the limits of the airflow. Yeah. that. Take that off. You could usually set that down, but I got the lights in there. It's like, oh, there we go. So it's right down there in the middle. And we, Wiggle that back on in there. And then you got these little body, little bad boys here, little bolts, little nuts, whatever you want to call them. Nuts and bolts. Just uh I'll put all four of these on here all the way around it. And then I'll put the, the bolt back on up there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done. And uh, yeah, see y'all here in a few. All right, get all these bad boys tightened down. Got them all on there. Just need to, oh, come on, we're playing games. That one's always hard because it's tight right there. The rest of these on here. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get this video wrapped up. Don't want to forget that one. Those things are nasty. <laughs> I'm just gonna put them in a bag and I'll get them all uh, in a trash bag, wrap them up real tight. I gotta buy more gloves. It's so ignorant wearing one glove. Alright guys, got them all changed out, it's got all the, I'll show you here, got all these little bolts tightened back up, all that good stuff, uh, carpet, I'm going to throw that away now, and these are the old, old filters, I mean they're pretty funky, hopefully we'll get a, get a little better fuel mileage out of the truck now, now that they've been changed and all that, it's supposed to snow here in Michigan. Um, not looking forward to that. Now with my sinuses already acting the way they're acting. It's cold enough. Yeah. Y'all uh y'all be good. I appreciate you watching. And please like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Uh keep an eye out for the lives. I just randomly go live during my workout here at home, so 
Uh, make sure you hit that bell. You get notified when I go live, when I upload a new video. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys on the next one. Y'all be safe out there. Love one another. And always give your loved ones hugs and kisses. Y'all be good.